Hello everyone and welcome to another uh, episode of Nostalgia Craft. As you may see, I am in the village and you may also notice that something is a little bit odd about my perspective and we'll get to that. Uh, right now, uh, Icy Bunny is also on the server and I just asked if she could maybe de-op me because I did get uh, op privileges for the events, uh, which you can see uh, on her channel where we did a bunch of like mini games or, or tried to do a bunch of mini games and uh, yeah, it was it was pretty neat. Um, you know, uh, you can go check that out. I'll have the little link in the corner. Uh, another thing that I did, well, I'll get to it in a moment. Yes, I, I you may again. Strange perspective, right? There's quite quite a couple of things to get uh, updates on, and I'll get to updating on. Oh, fuck off! Ow, dick! I'll get to updating on exactly what has happened uh, with my projects personally. Uh, in a moment, I'm just gonna go steal some corn and munch on it before I get eaten by the villagers because we do have a bit of a zombie apocalypse going on. No biggie. Pretty sure the lady I was trying to romance and marry in the last episode has been turned into a zombie and I can't exactly be bothered de-zombifying her. Um, but uh, I will say I was planning today to do something with the whole marriage system and uh, Minecraft comes alive and all of that and and uh, just some carrots as well Why not? Uh, I was gonna do that and I was going to use that as a sort of a segue or, or whatever to go uh, to start speaking about uh, you know, romance and love and relationships uh, as a part of this whole nostalgia discussion thing. Um, but then the event happens, and there's also the, you know, zombifying of the entire village, making it difficult for me to uh, consider any kind of romance options. Um, and so instead, uh, I have decided that I will spend the next 30 minutes talking about Ugandan Knuckles. Jesus Christ, look at him! <laughs> Do you know the way? Oh, you look... You look amazing. Do you know the way? Yeah. And I... <laughs> That's right. I'm officially an actual little dude. <laughs> uh, it's so stupid. Oh god. Oh! Oh, that... That's wonderful. I actually am only a block uh, high, blo and uh... Yeah, it's pretty neat. My perspective is completely fucked. Oh, right, I have a... I did get a chocobo as well. I should go grab it because it is somewhere in the village. Unless it's despawned. I hope it hasn't. Um... Yeah, but I'm gonna be talking about the May Maze today because... Well, that's also obviously kind of nostalgic in a sense. Let's see. Yeah, my bird is in here. There was also a baby zombie, though, so I hope that's... Also, what the fuck is all of this? I definitely did not leave a door on top of this whole thing. It's... Uh, okay. Oh, there's a splash potion weakness, so we can actually cure some villagers, but there's also a thing where they might... some of them might be permanently zombies? I don't know. Like, is this... does this person have an enlarged head? Because there's a thing where what, some of them have enlarged heads, which means they still can be cured, allegedly. I don't really know though. Uh, gotta get the bird out of there, which means I kind of need to go punch down a tree. Uh, because yeah, I left all my stuff in my castle for the purposes of uh, the event, meaning that, um, yeah, problems. Craft creeper. Uh, but uh, as I was saying, uh, Uganda Knuckles. <laughs> There's this concept, um, which uh, is the subject of a video by Vsauce, Vsauce Michael, um, and the concept is Juvenoia, which is uh, basically that every uh, gener generation um, looks at the following generation of people and is like, what the hell is up with those young whippersnappers? Why are they all so weird and cringe and I don't get anything? It's like the relationship between boomers and millennials, between millennials and uh, Gen Z, between Gen Z and Gen Alpha? 
hold on. What generation comes after Gen Z? I think it's Gen Alpha. Yeah, it's Gen Alpha. Um, it's the uh, relationship between those uh, whoop, those generations and uh, how yeah you look uh, people look back at uh, the little did I pick up the wood yes at uh, people look down on the generations that follow after them. Uh, it's just not making any sense. It's having worse sensitive uh, style, uh, worse taste in music, worse uh, understanding of. Comedy. All right. Worst understanding of comedy and uh, most importantly, worse memes. <laughs> Which uh, I would like to bring into questioning question here because, well, uh, yeah, I, 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 it's sort of like uh, some. Oh. Um. Oh, can, can I... Okay, is this... Does, will this function as wood for me to make a pickaxe? Oh, actually, maybe I don't have to. Can I get Celeste out? Ah! Uh-oh. Okay. I need an empty hand, and then I get on my bird? No. Shit. Okay. Uh, the reason I bring that into question is quite simple in that I don't necessarily think memes have gotten worse, I don't actually even think, even like Gen Alpha, the, the skibbity toilet generation as I like to call them, I don't actually think they're that much worse than Gen Z or Millennials or anything. And uh, you're gonna have to hear me out on this if, if you don't agree uh, quite immediately, which I fully understand, but um, the reason I say this is if you look at uh, memes as a whole of, across across these generations, across uh, you know the period of time we've had the internet to work with and, and to do stupid shit on, um, you might notice that in reality, it, like memes. Oops, sorry, sorry, my man. Oh my god, this is all oh, that. Uh, Memes as a like conceptually, memes are never amazing. They they just kind of aren't. Uh, they are the internet's equivalent to any sort of pop culture thing, right? Oh my god, I'm so short. How do I even? Oh, <laughs> oh my god, I, I oh that's that's kind of amazing, but I can't see shit. Uh, it's fine. We're fine. The birds are really quick though. If I can remember where I need to go. I think it's this direction. Oh, I'm lagging, though. Oh, no, I, I just fell in a hole. I thought it was lagging. There's... Oh, there's that. Um... Wish it was daytime. This is probably a pretty bad idea, too. Oh, wait. Am I going the right direction? This is the spawn. There's the corn I grew... Oh, I fell into a hole, and I'm having a bad time. Um, I don't actually know where I'm going currently. Hold on. I think I need to go over here. I think in this way. Oh well, the bird's quick enough that it's not that much of a problem unless it gets into the water. Oh, now I'm lagging. No, bird. 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 Um, where was I? Right. Uh, memes have always been terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just that, and, and, and like a youth lingo, if you really look at it, oh no. Oh, we're fine. It's always been kind of just kind of bad. Um, because we look at stuff now and we're like, oh, all the memes are just stupid references that are just cringe and like uh, all the the lingo like Gat and Riz and it's like who who even comes up with this stuff and it's like yeah it's all stupid and terrible sure was the stuff we were looking at and and consuming and saying that much better uh no <laughs> absolutely not if we I mean we like to say it was because of course we do uh we saw 
Uh, we in we consumed all that content, we have a nostalgia for it, and that's why we think it was so much better, when it probably wasn't. Like, Skibbity Toilet as a prime example where... Is it significantly worse than any stupid SFM movie thing uh, from, like, ten years ago? No. No, in fact, there's a significant amount of effort put into it compared to a lot of stuff. Not all of it, uh, a lot, you know, but, but, oh, there it is. But a lot of stuff, like, a significant enough amount where I'm like, where you gotta, you gotta kind of acknowledge that it wasn't great. Um, but, hey, we watched it, uh, like, um, the collective we, I guess. Uh, not everyone, of course, but, but it was still part of cultural zeitgeist for millennials and zoomers on the internet. There we go. Yeah, I upgraded the uh, farm a little bit so now there's a fence around it because creepers kept going in and blowing shit up. Uh, I guess that's kind of the big update. Oh, right. One more thing that I did. I did uh, go down into the caves, mine a couple of things, get a bunch of stuff, and... Look at that. I haven't gone into the nether yet, so that's going to be what we're going to be doing today while I talk about memes. Uh, I think I put... Oh! Congrats on becoming a YouTube. Aww! That's... that's actually kind of... Sweet, thank you. No, no. Okay. Uh, yeah, that actually happened. As I'm recording this, that has happened uh, just yesterday, so... It's pretty nifty. Um... More or less, I'm just gonna straight up, I'm gonna be lazy, I'm gonna put all this stuff in here. And then just grab the stuff that I need, like that. Arrows, yes, that's trouble. Oh right, I got a magma cube pet. Uh, it eats nether quartz, which I guess I need to get from, well, the, the nether. Uh, <laughs> let's see, I got this, I got that, I do want a water bucket along with me. And roasted corn. There we go. And boom, 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 boom. And uh, yes, this seems fine. I will probably want another pickaxe. I have an iron pickaxe. Do I have enough diamonds for another pickaxe? Um, but yeah, uh, overall it might seem like memes have gotten worse, but I don't think they have. Um, because when we think about, like, uh, the old memes we used to enjoy, we're obviously going to have more memories of the good stuff that we actually enjoy than of the stuff we don't. I actually kind of liked uh, You Got Into Knuckles, for example. And only when I did that little joke in the uh, event video, and only thought about You Got Into Knuckles again after years and years of never really even thinking about it, does it did it actually strike me again? That Uganda Knuckles came out in insert year here. I, I, I fucking forget what year it was again. 2016, 2017, something along those lines, right? It came out and it happened at the same month as Logan Paul in the Suicide Forest, people eating Tide Pots, and somebody touch -a my spaghetti. You know, I reckon I remember this because there were specifically memes talking about all four of like uh, all four of those memes coming out of the same. <laughs> <clears throat> right. So, what happened there was that uh, I moved my hand a bit too quickly, which in turn knocked down my mouse, tangled with the wire on my microphone, and very very briefly disconnected it. As a result, I lost about 15 minutes of audio recording. Um, and I didn't feel like recording <laughs> Minecraft all over again just to, like, uh, you know, fix that. Uh, especially since it, there's been troubles getting on the server. So instead, I'm just going to be taking the footage that I already recorded and just speaking over it. Uh, so this is gonna be. I'm, I'm gonna be slightly repeating myself, but repeating myself to myself, not to you guys. Uh, so, I'm just gonna be watching the video in the background so I can have a vague idea of what was happening while I was, uh, speaking. But, uh, where I got cut off by my mic dying, 
Uh, I was going to say that I specifically remembered that uh, there were memes coming out uh, at that time um, taking those four and uh, applying like the four, four, uh, four horsemen of the apocalypse shit to it. Um, you know, spaghetti was, was famine, I think... I don't remember what the rest were, were actually. Or maybe, no, spaghetti was definitely famine, but it th doesn't matter. Uh, the point is that all of these memes came out at the same time, and yet when was the last time you thought about somebody touching my spaghetti? Or when was the last time you really thought about the Logan Paul suicide forest thing? Or, um, or, or eating Tide Pods, right? You, you haven't, and to be fair, you probably also haven't thought about Uganda Knuckles as, uh, as much either, but at least I would imagine you would vaguely remember that was a thing. <laughs> um, without being prompted. I will say that the reason that specific meme came to my mind, uh, and why I brought it up, um, and you know, referenced it uh, during the recording of that event, um, was that uh, I pro uh, I recently rewatched um, the old Twitter trash videos uh, from some black black guy that he did with Chris Raygun and Tom Sweeney because I mean I, I freaking love those videos and yeah they they talked about uh, you got the knuckles and they, they were like oh I really hope this meme endures because they enjoyed it that much I mean I enjoyed it at the time as well um, but uh, the point I uh, was trying to make here was that. You don't remember a lot of those memes that uh, existed back then because they're kind of very forgettable by their nature. That's sort of the, the point of a meme is, is to sort of exist only in like the moments, in the zeitgeist, uh, when it's relevant to the culture at the time. Obviously you're not going to be sharing as many rage comics around unless you were doing them ironically. Uh, there was a slight resurgence of them, again, mostly ironic, or th with a messed up punchline, or like, satirizing the, uh, the way that uh, meme culture and comedy evolved over time. Um, but uh, ultimately you forget a lot of memes, because uh, for a really long time, for like a, some years now, I've, I've, fu I've caught myself thinking, Man, memes used to be so much better, the internet was such a better place, and, um... You know, it's, it's taken a bit, but I feel like I, I can recognize that it's... Ultimately, um, that feeling I have is... Well, it's, it's juvenoia. I, I'm like, oh, oh, memes used to be better when they were all being made by my generation and generation before. Like, um, I'm right at the edge. I'm at the edge between Millennial and Zoomer. I was born in the year 2000. Um, so which group I fit into depends on who you ask. I guess I'm more close to uh, Zoomer, Gen Z, um, but at the same time I was born in a country in, well, Northeastern Europe. That's right, I, I combine both of those so everyone's either happy or everyone's upset. Um, and that means that the culture, culturally it's, um, culturally I feel like a bit closer to a millennial, but at the same time it doesn't it doesn't really bother me. I don't mind being a zoomer either. Um, but uh, the, the point I was trying to make with that is uh, essentially that memes haven't actually gotten worse. It's just that now as like time has progressed and I've gotten older, I, I more so recognize and uh, notice when they're shit. <laughs> uh, because, I mean, they were always pretty bad. Again, the stupid spaghetti meme. It was prevalent, it was fucking everywhere, PewDiePie was repeating it ad nauseum, and, and yet, it was so stupid and terrible. <laughs> and the Tide Pod meme, also stupid, right? You got the Knuckles, it had some spunk in it, it had some fire in it, and I still kind of enjoy it, because it's just that stupid. Um, but the majority of memes were just not great, and a lot of them were just uh, references uh, to cultural moments at the time. A lot of it was uh, Marvel references. And the, uh, most of the memes you still uh, see from back then that still exist are, uh, you know, reaction type images, like uh, Captain America going, I understand that reference, or getting like, 
uh, I don't know, arrested in an elevator. I don't, I don't give a shit about Marvel, but it, the point is, those are the ones that pre prevailed, but there was a bunch of other ones, like, when's the last time you thought about Thanos car, right? It, it, it's just sort of came and went, as most memes do. Um, <clears throat> there, and again, only a couple of memes are prevalent enough and memorable enough that I, I would still rep, uh, use them day to day. Um, from the last couple of years, <laughs> the the best meme, I've, uh, the best memes I've enjoyed like the most. Um, it's amusing that it's specifically these two. One of them is the uh, buff gay edits uh, to Joji's song. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember what it's called. TikTok, whatever. Uh, of the TF2 characters. Love that one. And uh, the other one is homophobic dog. I have an entire folder dedicated uh, in my like documents folder to pictures of homophobic dog because I fucking love that meme so much. Uh, it's, it's wonderful. And uh, yeah, the, the 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 reality is that um, meme culture hasn't changed that much it just appears so because well I, I don't really get uh, the cultural references that's all um, like a lot of those meme memes currently are based on uh, I don't watch skibbity toilets so I, I, I I'm at a loss for most of that right uh, <laughs> but but the formats haven't changed that much for example, um, in recent years, the one that's uh, sort of popped off and it's still uh, very, very prevalent in uh, like YouTube shorts and uh, on uh, Reddit specifically. I have, I have, I have Reddit. Love that subreddit because it's dog shit. Um, is the uh, uncanny uh, like the um, Mr. Incredible becomes uncanny one, uh, which is really ultimately just a variation on a very old format. It's the same as the, uh, you know, Drake and Hotline Bling uh, saying no to one thing and yes to another thing. It's the same as the Brain Expansion one. It's the same as uh, Vince McMahon slowly approaching orgasm. I don't know how else to describe that one. Um, like, it's all the, the same thing. And, um, or, or the Virgin versus Chad eventually, which became... Um, levels of chadness, right? Um, it's all the same format, just slightly different, slightly different purpose and slightly different, like, uh, imagery used. Um, so it's not that much worse or better than it ever was, really, if, if you want to look at it objectively. Subjectively, because of course these are all just, it's, it's, it's humor, of course it's going to be always uh, subjective and um, because memes are by their nature nature tied to our uh, you know cultural zeitgeist the, the way we see culture the way we interact with it and um, how much you enjoy a lot of uh, memes highly depends on how tied uh, how closely you follow that culture naturally that over time just it you just don't care for them as much um, but still, you see a lot of uh, a lot of people my age and older, of course, uh, with that juvenile sort of criticizing Gen, uh, Gen Alpha a lot for well, for starters, Gen Alpha are at like the oldest Gen Alphas currently are what like 13 years old because I think it starts in like 2010, so 13 years old, freaking 13 year olds, and you're like, man, I can't believe these uh, literal children don't have brilliant a brilliant sense of humor like I do N motherfucker your sense of humor was just this shit and perhaps worse back then like uh, s seriously like the old there are a lot of really funny good SFM animations from back in the day but a lot of them were are significantly worse than you know uh, freaking uh, the skibbity toilet or whatever right and Oh, yeah, you yeah, got another chest from Icy Bunny during this part of the video. Look at that, little chest pet. Epic. I'm also gonna probably waste the Thaumium by making a pickaxe. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with Thaumium. Um, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, it's like, 
and then another part is like, oh, people make so much. Uh, people make so much fun of uh, Gen Alphas and young Zoomers because, um, well, if 2010 is sort of the agreed upon cutoff point for Gen Alpha and Gen, uh, Gen Z, you know. Uh, then some of them are still like teen young teens, but a majority of Gen Z at this point are adults. They're my age pretty much um, Like they're in their early 20s, so it's always funny when people talk about For a long time people were mocking uh, Millennials for having this weird nonsensical childish sense of humor um, meanwhile, it was Gen Z making those <laughs> memes because they were teenagers at the time and like kids and now we reached a point where uh, finally the boomers have switched targets and they're talking about how Gen Z are all stupid and, and dumb and uh, kids and have no attention span and so on. Meanwhile, it's the Gen Alpha actually because we're, we're past Gen Z at this point. But I digress. Um, what, uh, what I'm wanting to say is one thing that, uh, that uh, Gen Alpha gets a lot of... Uh, like uh, flack for is their use of their uh, slang and the n first start 90% of the time I use any of the following words uh, like used anywhere it's entirely ironic and it's people making fun of this weird esoteric group that uses this this term like these terms you know like GAT, RIZ, Ohio, RIZ, RIZ I've heard, GAT I've heard only ironically uh, Ohio is just a punchline. Um, I don't even know what are the other ones are because I don't care, so I just forget. But but uh, the the Gen Alpha and Gen Zs they get a uh, flag for using this terminology. And it's like because it's like oh it's stupid. It's just meme meme speak. Like wh what what cringe that I, all that is. And I'm like yeah, millennials and Gen Z sure have a lot of. Uh, room to fucking talk about um, about these kids adopting um, meme lingo in their everyday language and like using stupid terms and adding them to their vocabulary as if they're legit words that have an actual meaning. Am I right? Uh, yeet, as they say, you know? Hey Terry, you want some? Uh, and uh, non pizza left beef anyone like motherfucker people were doing this all the time uh, way back in the day uh, that's how we got um, like uh, regular like uh, everyday um, terms like uh, lol and lmao and all that uh, but there were you know and in the early days like people did straight up adapt terminology out of rage comics and shit like trollol and that's like the people did genuinely sometimes say that shit out loud it was cringe yes of course it was <laughs> or or like uh, later on of course millennials like the yeet is the, the first example that comes to mind it's from a vine it is literally just something pulled from like a, a, a joke video on the internet and you're gonna be acting all high and mighty because freaking Gen Alpha, who are mostly like toddlers currently, I got blown up there. Of uh, course, currently like mostly toddlers are like using some some stuff they've seen on the internet. I don't think that's entirely fair. Anyway, um, it's at this point that uh, I will fix up this fence and then realize that the recording fucked up. Uh, but luckily, I feel like I've uh, said, spoken my mind uh, plenty here. Um, after this recording fucked up, I did uh, end up uh, going a on a little dungeon exploration with uh, Icy Bunny. I'll probably do a bit of preparing materials and uh, drawing up some plans off screen for uh, repairing and upgrading my castle because uh, I realized I need a lot of regular like stone and cobblestone uh, because of course all these fancy new minerals are going to disappear from uh, the game when we switch versions so I'm, I'm like I realized I, I need just regular stone 
Uh, but yeah, it's, it's about the, this point that uh, I <laughs> turn around and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go uh, get some torches. And as I decide to go get some torches, I also decide to check, um, finally check how long I have been recording for, as I'm wondering if I should move on to another topic, right? So I'm just, I'm just saying something about that currently, and I'm like, uh, okay, I'm clearly going to be, uh, checking and ending the recording soon, and then, and, and, uh, look at that, I just, uh, hang out for a bit, check my chest. Yes, uh, figure out what I'm gonna be bringing along into the mines, and uh, it's at this point that I will check the recording and have a mental breakdown. So that's going to be doing. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully, maybe if I manage to record it. Yep. <laughs>